Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Dream and I present to you the first episode of Mafia, a story full of action, crime, and of course romance. Some of these characters might look familiar because I gave an introduction to them in episode 9 of my Willow series, but let me introduce this girl again as we will be following her life. This is Emery Altman, also known as the Nepo Baby. She is either loved or hated as she is not very trusting of people and can be quite mean at times. She is captivating, short-tempered, and a free spirit and business savvy as she aspires to be fabulously wealthy, not only in riches, but just in life. Because of her father's scandalous, yeah, scandalous y'all, and successful business and her mother's success as a high fashion model in the 80s, Emery was raised up in celebrity life and glamour and always knows how to get what she wants. Growing up, Emery was highly sought after in the modeling industry because she resembled her superstar mother so much. So of course, Emery began modeling at a young age and now she is a four-star celebrity and signed to two of the greatest agencies in the world, one located in the heart of San Myshuno and the other internationally. However, modeling isn't the only job she does. As we can see, being the only successor of the Altmans means someone has to take over Pop's business and maintain relations. On the outside, the business seems to have pure practices, but on the inside, they have some pretty bad business practices. But what would Emery know? This has been her whole life, and she is the one who will take it over someday, so she proudly learned and is still learning under her father the to-dos and not to-dos but her free-spirited nature it can definitely get her in trouble at times. And with this very important business deal being made between the Altmans, Bernardis, and the Bransons, Emery's father had to hire a very skilled bodyguard in order to keep his daughter safe and out of trouble. But as y'all could see, she is not a fan. Now moving on, we have Emery's schedule that was sent in from her assistant and it's pretty light today. So all we have going on today, she already met with Forbes at 6 a.m. She just now finished her business meeting with her dad, <laughs> but he just broke the news to her that she has a personal bodyguard and clearly she is very mad about that. And she has a lot of free time and free space, so she plans on having brunch with her girls and going shopping for a bit before 5 p.m. where she has headshots with her mother agency and we will meet the crew there soon. And then all she is doing is resting up for her big day tomorrow, which we will find out later. So Emery is gonna do what her dad said and give him a proper introduction, but oh gosh, now she's gonna eat the chips. Girl, you're gonna go to brunch soon. Can you come back please? And also, what is up with this? This like pops up every five seconds, I swear. I'm good, I'm good on it, I promise you. But she's gonna give a introduction. He said a proper introduction, but to Emery, um, that just means that because <laughs> she is just not she is so upset that her dad chose to hire a personal bodyguard and so from that interaction I'm actually new family dynamic supportive some older sims have a knack for providing reassurance and emotional support for their younger family members. The older sim can serve as a good role model, sharing their many life experiences to help guide the younger sim through life. Recently, it seems that they have this type of relationship. So that is actually really funny because I do see that as their relationship 100%. Although her dad is being a bit controlling over her life in certain aspects, the Altmans have a really strong family bond. And so I am definitely going to say yes to that. We are starting on a very hectic note. But going back to uh, this guy, I'm sure I want to see what he thinks. So she thinks he's interesting. There's just something about Mitchell that seems to vibe in a way that appeals to Emery. See, I'm not joking, y'all. It literally pops up every five seconds. But going back to this, this is actually so interesting, but definitely makes sense the longer you guys will see these episodes. 
and I kind of am curious. I want to see what he thinks of us as well, though. We're going to open his profile and. Oh. <laughs> Wait, for real? Mm, 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 mm. I mean, I get it, man. Like, every is that girl. She is just fine. And she perceives him as very attractive. Interesting. So, yeah, we'll we'll get to the all of this later. This is very funny that this is happening though, that he has a crush. I would say Mitchell, he find definitely finds her very attractive. Um, but he sees her personality or sees how at least she's like interacting with him and he's definitely not feeling her any deeper than like a oh you're super attractive type thing so that's how i'm gonna take that initial crush but that is so funny oh my gosh but yeah emery she's just not a fan she's not gonna be nice to him but she is going to get to know him a little bit in this conversation with her father and Mitchell. Okay, she learned that he is serious. And then she is, of course, going to give her father a hug before she heads out soon with her new personal bodyguard. Because even though she is upset about her dad making this decision on her behalf, that is still her dad. And so, and like I said before, they do have a really close bond. And she knows her father does what's best for her. But does she always enjoy that? No, not, not at all. Not in the slightest. <laughs> so we're going to give him a hug before we head out with Mitchell. She's just gonna act like a goody two shoes in front of her dad, but we're gonna see real soon the relationship between Mitchell and Emery just kind of go downhill. I also wanted to show before we head out, I have this pinned. She's had this before I started filming and I pinned it because she actually is engaged. I talked about it in episode nine of my Willow series. She's engaged to Jermaine Branson and we will meet him later on in this episode. Although it says that, you know, oh, they're romantic partners and she's excited. I have it pinned more so on the fact that this is an arranged engagement slash marriage. She's just doing this to stick to the business and for doing this on behalf of her family. It's not something that she necessarily wants for herself as I've said she's a free-spirited person and, you know, she doesn't want the marriage, but she's willing to do it on behalf of her family and for the Altman Corporation. That is that. And we are going to now travel to the heart of Samai Shuno to go have brunch with the girls. We're running a bit late and Mitchell's coming along. Oh boy. But we are going to head out to the heart of San Maishuno. have made it to Grenoba, a spot in the heart of San Maishuna that they love to eat at. And we're going to have Emery order for the table. I definitely can see all the girls getting a mimosa. So for all of them, I'm just going to choose a mimosa. And then I would get an appetizer, but we're kind of running short on time. So let's see. Emery is going to get... Emery is going to get the salmon, and I would think Sadie would also get the salmon. I'll introduce them, by the way, after we order their meal. And then getting the BLT for her, and the, hmm, let's see. I would say she would get the grilled chicken, and she would get the tofurkey dinner. But they are having just a great time talking around and stuff, so... 
I think right now while we're placing the order and waiting for the food, this would be a good time to introduce you guys to Emery's friends. This is Raylan Rosas, a rising star celebrity simfluencer, mostly dancer, and model. She started doing videos on YouTube and SimTalk and eventually took off. As a result, she has been signed to the same other agency as Emery and they eventually met through a music video shoot for an R&B singer and then became friends through that. The next is Liliana Bernardi. She is a proper celebrity fashion designer in Tartosa and wife to Giorgio Bernardi, whose father owns Bernardi Jewelers and are very close to the Altmans for, let's just say, business reasons. <laughs> Liliana and Giorgio reside in Tartosa but have several homes all over, including Samai Shuno. But Emery has known Giorgio for most of her life. So when he got married, Liliana and Emery just clicked right away and became really good friends through their love of fashion. Sadie Moore is a B-lister and is a simfluencer who started on SimTalk but then got really popular on Simstagram for her makeup and fashion hacks. Emery and Sadie met at an after party during Paris Fashion Week and have been friends ever since. And last but certainly not least is Bryn Whitting. She is a B-lister editor of a popular Sanmai Shuno magazine called Sanmai. She has an eye for critiquing things, but on the side, she loves to review food and drinks at the restaurants she visits. It was actually at this very restaurant where Amory and Bryn met over a cup of coffee. They didn't click immediately because of Bryn's brutal honesty over everything, y'all. But eventually became really good friends and someone Emery can rely on for the truth. Now, while they're waiting for their food, we're gonna actually catch up a bit with Liliana because she is in town and it's been a minute. So let's remember the good old days with her. And then we're gonna just like talk about her traveling experience because she, and just also like how the moving processes have been with them coming to and from San Myshuno and they just opened up another house in Tartosa. So let's talk to her about that. And as we can see, Emery's having a great time. She's feeling very playful because being with her friends, her friends are just honestly the bestest and her world they make her feel so like alive in a place and time where sometimes she can feel controlled or just feel like she doesn't have any kind of freedom and so talking to her friends and being out with them and having them all together is really nice especially because she has big things coming up very soon so it's just such a breather being able to talk to them and see how all of them are doing in their jobs and their adventures and journeys in life. And so it's been a really great talking to them. Roslyn thinks that Emery's bodyguard is majorly attractive. And so she's been flirting at the table trying to be like, Emery, listen, I would not be mad at the fact that there is a hot bodyguard watching me 24 7 and emery's like girl please take them then please take them i also think we should get some photos with the girls too but i'm trying to wait on this food y'all i hope that's our food right there please where's she going she better be delivering that to us because absolutely not finally our food has arrived oh my gosh them mimosas look good though. I'm really low key tempted to order a bottle or something. Is it too early to order a bottle? Especially on top of a mimosa. Yeah, maybe it is. We'll, we'll let it go, we'll let it slide. Actually, it's not even early, it's 1.21 p.m. But they are right now tearing it up in, um, what in the world, where you get that trash bag from? Oh my gosh, they all drank it in like one gulp. What in the world? The only one that got one left is um Liliana. Well, anyways, she looks pretty good hunger-wise, and we need to go to the bathroom, so we'll do that soon. When we head over to the boutique and before we head up to her mother agency, of course, and now the paparazzi is here to distract in the breakfast. I honestly thought they weren't gonna show up, and they definitely did. Great. 
I can't. Oh, what is going on over here? Hold on, I caught that. I caught that. Y'all, not Raylan flirting with Emery's bodyguard. She was not playing, y'all. She said, yes, ma'am. He is mine. Wait, now I want to see what he thinks or they think. Oh my gosh, Raylan has a crush on Mitchell and finds him interesting. And wait, give a massage to Mitch. Work those muscles and release all the tension. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I think she wants to do a little bit more than that because baby girl, what is going on? Not you... Not you flirting with Emery's bodyguard. Emery honestly doesn't even care though. <laughs> she does not care. She's like, listen, take him. I don't want a bodyguard. Like, I want my life to be free. Okay? And out of problems. And this guy, she just feels like that. Basically, she feels like she's almost like in chains when it comes to having somebody follow her around when she already has such a pressured life and everything so it's just not giving okay and we're gonna pay for this food right she's gonna get out of here she's gonna let her little friend do her flirting and this is her time where she's like i'm gonna dip so i can go hang out with the girls and not have to worry about a stupid bodyguard following me around so while these two are chatting away, Emery decides to sneak off with the girls. It looks like Mitchell's definitely heading that direction toward where they're going to the store. Oh gosh. Emery has arrived first inside the store. And as we can see, there are so many different um, brands in here. We got Gucci, Chanel, Nike, Adidas. And we're just going to look around. There's some cute purses too. I don't no, what the heck she's going to look at? No, girl, we're not watching no TV. We're going to just check these out. And her friend should be arriving. They're still chatting it up over here. They moved over because they started walking away. Um, And I don't know where her friends are. They, are they up here? Um, I don't see them. Oh, no. <laughs> they disappeared. I don't know where her friends went. Uh, we'll have to say <gasps> Jermaine Branson is wondering if we want to go over to his house and hang out. Um, we can't. We're busy today, and he knows that. So, <laughs> yeah, no, we definitely can't go over today because we have our um, headshots to take at 5 p.m. But we'll just tell him that he can come over tonight, maybe, if he's not busy, whatever. But he's a pretty busy dude, so we'll see. All right, so they are all in the store. Emery's deciding whether or not she wants to get this bag or not. Same with Sadie. Excuse me. Oh, oh, y'all, I'm rolling. I forgot that Emery was a celebrity for a second. <laughs> I was like, why is she coming in front of us? Rue behind. So she wants an autograph maybe from Sadie. Oh, oh, she walked out mad. So maybe not. Maybe she got rejected. But yeah, no, we're looking at these bags and I don't know which one I would do. But I'm going to have Emery try on, maybe try on this outfit. Let's see. It's giving cute. Oh, I can't try it on. It doesn't like work from here. Really? None of them do? Dang, that sucks. Homie, what is going on? Are you that pumped that you got an autograph? But we only have literally like 30 minutes until we're heading upstairs to the to her mother agency. Sis, why are you mad? What are you stomping for? Maybe let's ask her what's wrong with her. Oh, she doing that smooth walk downstairs. Okay, well, maybe not. Let's just keep talking to her. Oh my gosh. We gotta ask some of our friends to be a part of our wedding when that time comes. Because I completely forgot about that. All these clothes are really cute. I don't think there's anything that we're gonna get. So, I'm thinking that we're gonna head upstairs. <laughs> I think this was just a browsing trip for them, honestly. I think a lot of this stuff is cute, but it ain't even clickable, <laughs> which I kind of knew because it's a lot of decor. But 
yeah, no, this was a cute little store to stop by and the chaos surrounding it. Now we're going to go upstairs and meet her mother agency that she's a part of. Now heading upstairs, we have Sovina Models, which is a popular agency in the heart of Samai Shuno. And it is here when Emery realizes her mini plan to escape from Mitchell did not work. So she's basically threatening him with her eyes to not say anything to her father. And she quickly switches up when she sees her Sovina crew. This is Amir Pierce. He is the scouting manager of the agency, which means he either is doing this search for the model talent out in the city or holds casting calls to find models for the agency. Next is Jacqueline Garza. She's an old friend of Emery's mother through modeling and owner of Sovina Models, the modeling agency everyone dreams of getting into. This is Lorna DeMarco. She is Emery's assistant, although most perceive her to be very innocent. She is very techie and knows the scoop on every single person in Sam Aishuno and is not afraid to use it against their will. In other words, y'all, she is messy 3000 and she will beat somebody's ass. And lastly, this is Diego Lobo. He was also in episode nine of my Willow series and is Emery's personal stylist. Emery's gonna give Jacqueline a hug since she kindly stopped by and checking up on Emery before fashion week begins. I also forgot to mention Garza is also Emery's um godmother and so she always gets excited around these times when fashion week is starting because Emery is her star of her agency. She is always booking gigs to the point that she doesn't need to go through any casting calls anymore since she has a good relationship with most of the designers. But she definitely needs to update those headshots in digital. So now she's going to talk to Diego because she needs to get her makeup off for the rest of the day, style her hair, and switch into her clothes for the headshots. No, Emery, we're not doing sit-ups, girl. But we're going to give him a hug because we haven't seen him for a week since the last opera theater event. And you already know, they're just spilling tea and having a good time.
All right, y'all, that brings us to the end of episode one of Mafia, a story that I hope keeps you on your toes and wanting more. I plan on this series having a story within a story where we will eventually focus on other Sims that are in this series and also be on the lookout for any familiar looking Sims as this story is connected to my Willow series. With all that being said, hope y'all have a great day or night and I'll see you very soon.